why and the ever-loving fuck did Jake Gyllenhaal agree to this fucking movie? Hey guys, welcome to my review for the movie Ambulance. Ambulance, uh, the new Michael Bay movie. It's been a while since I've seen a Michael Bay movie. Uh, Ambulance, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Isaac Gonzalez, and a bunch of other actors I don't know and don't give two fucks about. Um, the story of this movie is about a man, a man named Will, and he's a soldier. He has a child coming along, and him and his wife are struggling financially, and he needs like, his bills paid and everything, and... He goes to his brother, Danny, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, for his help. So Danny's like, yeah, I'll help you. Help me rob a bank. And he's just like, okay. <laughs> and then there's a side story of this EMT, played by Isaac Gonzalez, that she saves people, but she's a kind of a cold-hearted bitch and stuff. So while Danny and Will are robbing a bank, and all their men get shot and killed, because the plan makes no sense, they go to the ambulance, take the ambulance hostage, and the whole movie's them in the ambulance running from the cops. And it's... That's the movie. It's two hours and 15 minutes of that. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, this movie is insane. Fucking crazy. This is so stupid. It's, it's incredible. Like, I was dumbfounded by this film this film is just awful in every way shape or form it is it does nothing right every performance in this movie is fucking awful yes even jay i'll talk about jay chill on all yeah yeah everybody is a terrible gives a terrible performance in this film the writing is so cheesy and stupid i just <laughs> Wow, this is this was like it felt like this written this movie was written by like seven frat bros or something. Like the dialogue in this movie is crazy. And Michael Bay's ego is just all over this film. Like his typical Michael Bayisms, his slow-mo, his shaky cam, his terrible quick edits, and of course his references to himself. They reference three of his movies in this film. And it, it's super corny and super cringy and it's super on the nose. And oh my god, Michael Bay, you're an idiot. <laughs> it's, um, I, I don't like this story actually could have worked maybe in a more competent writer and director's hands, probably. I see like a Ben Affleck directing this movie and doing a decent job, or Michael Mann or something, but not Michael Bay. Uh, <laughs> the story makes little to no sense even though the plot is very simple but just the way the plot keeps going i'm like wait what <laughs> like this guy goes to his brother for help and his wife even says don't go to your brother for help he's fucking crazy and he's like oh i'm not going to him he goes to him and then when he goes to his brother his brother's like, yeah i'll help you help me rob a bank and the guy's like i can't do that i can't rob a bank he's like come on and he's like okay <laughs> it's like oh, what and then like his brother's plan even doesn't make any sense. And then just, like, the bank they're robbing is, like, right across from a police station. I'm like, wait, what? what? That's, like, the worst bank to rob. <laughs> and, like, every decision these criminals make are the worst decisions you can make. Like, awful. And, yeah, just every... I'm just, it's crazy. Like, everything that happens in this film is insane. Just absolutely insanity. Just, like... The stupidity of all these characters is just... It's like, wow, what? <laughs> and I'm going to talk about Jay Jell. Jay Jell is an, he's an amazing actor. Like, such a talented actor. And I, I thought, like, even if this movie was bad, he would still be, like, the standout and stuff. No. He... His performance... The only way I can describe his performance is, like, Nicolas Cage. Like, he talks, and then he just freaks out. So, like, there's, like, a scene where he's like, Oh, yeah, I'll help you. I'll help you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, he just, like, starts freaking out. Like, he, like, spazzes out like Nicolas Cage would in any Nick Cage movie. It's, I'm like, what? 
what kind of performance is this? I've never seen Jake Gyllenhaal give a, such a odd performance, and it's. I'll admit it was funny. It was very funny, but I like even there's like comedy in the film, and it just it it makes no sense because like like it's a very serious scene going on, and they just put like random comedic bits in it. I'm like, wait, what? Like someone's dying. And then, like, Jake Gyllenhaal is like, blood is, oh, this is cashmere. <laughs> and, like, well, there's, like, a scene where he's trying to be intimidating. And then he's just like, oh, your name's Cam? Oh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, and, like, the, there's just random comedy bits always in, like, serious moments. And it just takes away any logic or care in the film, like, it's almost like I felt like this movie was made to be a joke or something. Like, it... I don't know. And I gotta talk about the score. One of the worst scores I've ever heard in a film in a long time. They play this melodramatic score throughout the entire movie on repeat. It just repeats. The score just keeps repeating, repeating, and repeating. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's... And I'm like, is is he doing this on purpose? Like, I, I like, the decisions that are, are are made in this film, like, I just didn't know if it was meant to be a joke. Like, it, like, like, there's no way this film could be this bad. Like, is like, is Michael Bay the new Tommy Wiseau? Like, and like, and the editing is awful. Like, it's it just constantly cuts, quick cuts, quick quick cuts, and like. He doesn't stay on a shot for more than five seconds. It's like I'm watching the first 20 minutes of Moulin Rouge. Like, what? <laughs> Some of the worst editing in a film I've seen in a long time. Some of the worst music, worst editing, worst shot compositions, worst act. The action is terrible. There's literally a scene where a guy gets shot and his body flips and he whacks his head off glass and he falls over. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it's like... Every scene that was going on makes no sense. It's just like, what? <laughs> oh my god, like, in even the ending. I won't spoil the ending. Oh my god, the ending. The, the sappiest, melodramatic BS ever. And also, like, in the middle of, like, a very serious, like, car chasing scene, they just go to, like, a random flashback <laughs> for, like, a couple minutes. And then it goes right back to the car chase scene. And, and then the film introduces, like, this, like drug smuggler guy and then while they're introducing him they have this like bubble letter about tobacco use <laughs> and how it kills people i'm like wait i'm like i don't is this movie like is this like is this like a brilliant movie or the worst thing ever like i don't like it's like watching the room said so the room was a lot funnier <laughs> this movie has a lot of just more annoyances and it's way too fucking long but there was moments I actually felt like it was, like, watching The Room. Like, is this movie just, like, made by a complete imbecile? <laughs> and just, like, is going to be, like, a, a so bad it's funny movie? But, like, or is Michael Bay a genius? And, like, is this, like, a Freddy Got Fingered? And, like, he completely intentionally made a shit movie. Like, as a fuck you to Hollywood or something. I think that's giving Michael Bay a little too much credit. But I don't know. Like, this movie is horrendous. It is one of Michael Bay's worst films. It is so fucking bad. Um, it's debatable if it's, like, worse than some of those. I, I would say, like, maybe not as worse as, like, some of those Transformers sequels. Because those are just so long and so ugly looking. But this film is still very close. It is. It is fucking terrible, this film. And it's, like, I don't know. Like, I, only time will tell what this film is. Like, it's either it's just going to be, like, another shit Michael Bay film or it's going to be known as, like, the so bad it's funny kind of thing. I don't know. I'm curious to, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Like, this, this movie was crazy to me. I'm like, what is... What the fuck is happening? <laughs> like, so, like, objectively, for me, I think it's just a legit bad film. And as, like, how good it is, I have to give, on a scale of 1 to 10, Ambulance, to me, is a 1 out of 10. It is the worst thing I've seen this year. Like, filmmaking-wise, acting-wise, just everything-wise. It is 
it does everything wrong. On the entertainment level, it might be like a six. Because <laughs> there are moments I was laughing because how stupid and awful it was. So maybe go see it to get like a kind of a laugh out of it. But it is like, if you hate Michael Bay and you know his shtick, this is one of his worst. This is a hor horrendous film. So yeah. Let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts and opinions? Do you think this movie is just a terrible film? Or do you think it's meant to be so bad it's funny? Let me know in the comment section below. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and join the dark side.